Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So we'll leave you. This bit in here... Oh wait, no, I was, I was going after the Paku, wasn't I? That's why I had that bit dug out. I was going to try and dig out for another Paku over there. I had this one, that's a saltwater geyser over there, I remember finding. And then I got a carbon dioxide vent. I wanted them to dig out everything in here, so I've got a huge request... If they can come over and do it, we need power in order to be able to fill everything up. Nothing's going to work here without any power. I literally can't do anything without power, and I could do lots and lots of coal. And I'm getting some coal from our farms here. That They are working. We've got three of eight, eight of eight, eight of eight. Hmm. All right, well, there's, there's not a lot. So I'm, I'm picking up a bit of ice in here. I've got one more lot up there, and then... Someone can get up there. No, he's just picking up granite over here. You can get up that side. He's just picking up granite. What, why are you picking up granite over here? Is it on down that way? Just going to go and put it in storage or what? Don't really know. We've dug in here and they've gone and picked up some sleep wheat. They've actually gone and picked some up. That means that they're going to bring it back over. And they're going to dump it down here so that we can go and actually make the... The frost buns. There, look at that. Frost buns. We've got 246 units. So we've got plenty of frost buns. As soon as they've made them, food shortages have been dealt with. So I want to go up here. Now, the idea with this was that I would be able to get out and I want to get up to there. So it's kind of like building um, airlocks and stuff in here so that I could get out and I would be able to escape this entire area. Easier said than done. A lot easier said than done. Now, you're a regular Paku there. I don't want regular Pakus. I want tropical Pakus only. We've got Paku fillet right there. That's stale. That's not really going to be much good for us. Yeah, let's not worry about that. Um, I need to be able to get out so that I can get up the top. But I also want to be able to manufacture. Now, is that stations... Utilities, ore scrubber, spacey to sweepy dock. Um, it's not going to be plumbing, is it? Power, maybe? See, I want solar panel, missing resource, glass. And I thought I'd built a glass forge. Automation, no. Shipping, no, it wouldn't be that. Station, it's not under there. It's not going to be under furniture. Medicine. Refinement. That's what it'll be under. Is refinement. Rock crusher. Water sieve. If I, a glass forge right there. Produces molten glass from raw sand. I've got that. Outputs high temperature liquid. Duplicates will not fabricate items unless they are queued. Now, did I actually build a glass forge anywhere? Or did I just have it ready and thought about doing it but didn't actually do it? Chances are I thought about it and didn't do it. That would be the sort of thing that I would do. Looking around. I mean, ideally, uh, the glass forge needs to be out here, outside of the base. That would be the best place for it, really. So we want to go to refinement. I'm going to take a glass forge right here. I have no idea how this thing works. I'm going to dump that one down there like that. And I'm going to let them build that right there. So that is a regular... Um, build request on there. We've got a ladder going up here. They're going up this way. They're picking up granite over here. I'm assuming for build things. We've got sleet wheat grains there. I've got 90 of them. I've got 72 of them over here. I've got more sleet wheats that I've encountered somewhere, I think. I think it was actually down here. Yeah, they've gone up through here and they've picked up some. And they're going to go up there and they're going to be able to get more. So I've got food for now. Food for a minute. What's that in there? It's a tropical fry egg down there. Ideal. I've got tropical fry being done in this water in here. We've got this one. The glass forge is being built right now. We will keep that glass forge being built. So what do I need in here? I've... Uh, what? It, now that makes molten glass. Recipe molten glass. Extracts pure molten glass from sand. I don't really know. I'll go to power and I will just go with a heavy watt conductive wire. It's like the, the most powerful wire that I can get. 
And I'm going to dump that on there like that and bring that out. It's 1,200 watts that I need to be able to run that. So if I join that one onto there, that's going to help. And then I also need uh, no liquid output. That's got to be the water output This because it produces high temperature water. So I want to go to plumbing. And I could potentially just join it onto there, but I don't think I will. I'm just going to put a liquid vent down under here. I'll put a liquid vent straight there. Now, I've got this as a cooling system coming through here. Because I was cooling the water that was going into the base. But I'm thinking this was a foolish idea. Right? I'm, I'm thinking that was a bad idea. I kind of want to remove all of that pipe work. And keep this lovely and toasty and warm in here so that my Pakus are a lot happier. Because they require gulp fry eggs 1%, fry eggs 23, tropical fry 75. And ape from feeder, happy wild. I have a look in here for food critters in there. And then we go to tropical Paku there. Comfort range at 30 to 80 degrees. Now, they do live under 30 degrees, but ideally it's between 30 and 80. Um, they eat algae, they excrete polluted dirt, which is what we want. I mean, these guys do the same, and their comfort range, they, they would live comfortably in this water. It's just that I kind of like the idea of having tropical fish. I don't know why. Gulp fish, they're cold. They're, they're, they're very cold water ones, aren't they? I don't care about them. Right. So I can have regular Paku in here as well. I just I just don't really care for them. So I also want to change this around. So I, I do want that to be a cooling system in there. And then I want to go over here. Plumbing. Insulated. Now what have I got for insulation? I've got igneous rock. I've got granite right there. I'm going to take granite for insulation. Deco overheat plus 15. Slow heating for igneous. Let's take the Ignis Rock, and I'm going to take from that point right there. Bring you over like that. I'm going to run this all the way down here. Like that. Uh, bring that down to there, like that. And then this area right in here, that there. I've actually got that as a cooling system in behind this, so I'm going to change that so it is actually a cooling set of pipes. So we're going to go the radiant pipe on this, and I'm going to use up the gold. I may as well use gold in that. Scolding? Someone scolding? Okay, I don't know who that was. They don't seem to be too worried about it. Now, we'll take gold pipe on this. Change that over all the way through this bit of pipe here. So that's going to be cooling there. I'm going to assume that the pipe this way under here, that's also going to need to be cooled pipe. So I will put cooling right over to that side. Wait, that didn't work. I didn't have enough gold. 25, 18,000. Let's go with copper then. Why aren't you... Why aren't you changing... I've, I've got a build order in. Oh. There is a build order in there. Right, I have got the build order in there. I don't know why it wasn't sort of showing up properly, but I have got a build order in there. And then I'm going to go from here, and I'm going to take insulated pipe now. And I don't actually need to have the pipe running through all of this like this. But I'm going to leave it here. I'm not going to tempt fate and try and change anything. Just going to have it as insulated pipe. All the way through here. And because I may decide to change that back. I may want that changed back over and have something different with it. So I'll put insulated pipe over to there. That should make a difference. So we've got cooling going on that bit in there, and then the rest is going to stay as insulated pipe, which means that it should, in theory, just 
cool down that area in there with the cold water that comes through. And then that water will maintain temperature until it gets to that area. It will cool those down as well. And then it will go on down through and it will maintain its heat until it gets in here. Uh, uh, maintain its cool until it gets in here. And that will allow this pool to warm up a bit, I think. Well, I don't know. I, I've, I've no idea how that works. Right. Uh, next, I want to go back into plumbing, and I want to take regular liquid pipe, and I want to be dropping that from here. So I'm going to need to take a liquid pipe. I'm going to need a liquid bridge, and that. Oops. Let me do that. It's O to rotate this one, and that one needs to go. That one's going to have to be disabled. Disable that. No, uh, deconstruct that building. So that I can put some plumbing in over here and I can take uh, my liquid bridge right there and I can rotate that one round and that one can go like that there. Then I can take the liquid vent and that's going to go one down underneath like that and I can take a liquid pipe and that will go from here, drop down into there. So regular liquid pipe actually, I don't want that. That to be an insulated liquid pipe, and I want that to be an insulated liquid pipe as well, like that. Is that coming out as a liquid? That's not. That no, that's not. Right. Cancel that. Okay, it's cancelled all of it. Fine. Can cancel everything. Cancel everything. We'll do that again. They're they're going to bed at the moment anyway, so you need to go to there like that. You liquid bridge, you need to go there like that. And then I want insulated pipe so that I'm not bleeding heat out in this area up here or there. Like it's sort of keeping the heat in a little bit. That's kind of the way I'm looking at it with that. Whether or not that's actually going to work, I don't know. We will have to wait and see. I do have oxygen going into those Atmos suits there. That's good. And we can get some glass being built. Once the glass forge is up and I know that I can make glass from there, then I know which way I want to commit to. Because I'm either going to commit to building this and going up and out this way. Or I'm going to commit to building this on down, finding heat down here and building... What is this? Alright, there's a mountain of coal and stuff that there's all sorts in here We've got a little oxalite spiral in there yeah that's looking pretty cool i want to find out what that's all about um yeah i either want to commit to going down here until such time as i am able to um get a lot of temperature down there and start generating more heat via uh these sorts of things here steam turbines Either I want steam turbines doing it, or I want um, to, to go up and do it with solar panels. It's, it's got to be one or the other. Steam turbines or solar panels. We're going to find a way, one way or another, to make one of these work. And I don't know at the moment which one it's going to be. So i got plenty of people out here working. They're running around. They're doing all of these different bits. We're going to be picking up dirt from in here on a very regular basis. We've got... Plenty of sleet wheat in here that's being picked up and used. But now I've got a lot of water that's dribbling out of here because I've got temperature coming out of these. And I've also got steam coming out of there, which means that this sleet wheat is not going to last very long, I don't think, before it ends up disappearing. And uh, the sleet wheat is going to end up dying as well. At least that's my theory. I don't think it's going to do very well. Now, I could get rid of that, but I have found previously that if I get rid of that, it doesn't sort of empty things out properly, and we end up having problems with it anyway, so I don't really want to do that. Uh, something else that I want to change over. Ooh, those dust caps are actually growing down there. Nice. I didn't expect them to be growing all the way down there. I didn't think that they would. Not properly. He's on his way down. We're changing over the pipes in under here, and I'm hoping that we will be able to add these pipes in very, very shortly, which means that we will then be able... Like, the other bits have been built, we just haven't added these pipes in. Not quite yet. We're on the way over. 
Uh, they are working through. Uh, well, they were working through. Now they've gone to bed. Glass forge. Let's have a look. Molten glass in here extracts pure molten glass from sand. So if I go into there, 100 kilos of sand. I have 133 tons. Gives 25 kilos of glass. I need 200 kilos of glass in order to manufacture one solar panel. And a solar panel gives 380 watts. So it's it's pretty good. But it only does it during the... Well, I suppose, it, yeah, it only does it during the day. But then it, it charges up batteries, and you have a battery bank, and then, you know, you can kind of do it like that, can't you? So solar panels would be nice if... if if we can make them work. So, we'll go into here. And we will request some molten glass. And I'm not going to do a forever more kind of thing. I'm going to want 8 per solar panel. So, I'm going to request 80. 80 of those. Right there. I have requested 80 of these. We should have sand being delivered. It doesn't actually say that we need anything going in. There's no water going in. No workable order. Right, it's, del it's delivered sand. Delivered 200 kilos of sand. Work errand. Okay. It's 300 kilos of sand in there. I want to see this thing working. No power. Right. Uh... Okay, next up, as I'm gonna end up like having the solar panels go off outside, do I put... I'm gonna put the glass up here. Right, I haven't got very far to go and take it, and I kind of want to dig out some of this area anyway. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna dig out a chunk like that. Boom. And dig that bit out as well. And I'm going to take base mesh tile over this side. Do I dig it with the... I'll put it on the level with the rest of the base, I think. I put mesh tile all the way over to there, like that, and then go one, two, three, four, put mesh tile. All the way over like that. And then dig out that bit there, that can all be removed. I'll ignore the bit on the... Actually, I don't want to ignore all the bit on the top, do I? I'm going to actually want to remove more of this. Remove those. And then what I want to do is I want to go here and go to that mesh tile. I want to deconstruct that mesh tile. You are kind of stuck over here, which is not very helpful. You put ladder in there so that we can get across both of those you've got one little platform here that you, well oh no you haven't got one little platform that you sat on you, you kind of like doing everything over there and then i dig those out like that and in over this side we go insulated tile onto those two just to like try and protect it against that side a little bit i think You're stuck. You are hopelessly stuck over here. This one, work errand. There's not a lot that I can do with that one at the moment. So I'm, I'm kind of waiting. Fortunately, oxygen seems to be prioritizing over on this side. So we can keep this going. Uh, in here, what I actually want to end up doing is building some more storage. That's the whole smart storage bin. I don't want to make a start a smart storage bin. I just want a regular storage bin. One, two, three of those right in there. Lyra has made a mess. That's not good. We need you guys to come out and help Lyra. She's 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 struggling a little bit. She's really struggling in here. So I kind of need everybody to come out and put your best foot forward and and just help the poor girl out because quite frankly. It's not going well for her in here. All right, she, she needs your help in order to escape her captivity right in here. So you're doing the insulated pipes, and I've got several more of those to do. 
Uh, you can't jump over and then go up that way and, and climb across because, well, quite frankly, you're not that bright. Uh, well, what about take that one, I do that as a priority nine and that one as a priority nine as well. They'll come in and they'll build that. Now she can go and escape, but I need to look over this way. When she takes that suit off, it's going to leave a horrible, soggy mess everywhere. So we need to quickly mop that lot up, mop that, and mop down this way as well. Very quickly, clean all of that dirty water up. There. Right, ideal. That's brilliant. We have solved that little problem. Now we go back in here. I'm still waiting on that bit there to be built. Why are you? Contents, 10 kilos of malt. What? That's not good. How do I... Right, wait a minute. Cancel that build cancel that build. Something has gone wrong here. I, I don't understand. You said uh, hot what outputs high temperature. It uh, just outputs high temperature liquid. It outputs the glass at high temperature liquid. Deconstruct. You deconstruct. Take those apart. I've got the glass in there. I'm going to need to change this round. Uh, those pipes are not going to be able to handle the high temperature liquid, though, I think. I think that's what our big problem is going to end up being. They're not going to be able to do it. So I want to go into you. Liquifiable. No. Industrial ingredient. No. Filtration. Manufactured material. Glass. That's what you're going to be. You're going to be glass in there. So now I want to... Prioritize this because I need that pipe. So, how do I move high temperature stuff? Have, have I got like special? I, I don't think I do. I, I look at you. Overheat temperature plus 15. Igneous rock. Overheat. Sedimentary. Thermally reactive. Obsidian. Carries liquid with minimal change in temperature. So we, we kind of want that to be an insulated pipe, but I don't want the pipe to come down this way. The pipe's got to go up and into a pool up here where it can hopefully then solidify. Or we can just pour some water into it. Maybe I could bring it into here, into the volcano situation, and we can also use it up in there. If I'm dumping liquid glass in, making use of the steam turbine, I don't know. I, I don't know the best way to do this. I, I've, I've no idea with glass. I've, I've not worked with glass before. So we're also going to cancel that build. And I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to do insulated tiles. No, I'm not. I'm going to cancel that build as well. And I'm going to go with regular tiles. I, I just want regular tiles in here. Take them. And I am going to priority nine these bad boys. I'm going to drop those right way across there like that. Uh, I'm going to cancel them like that. And then I'm going to... The rest of it is just going to be built. Uh, uh, actually, I want to have base, tile, one, two. I'm going to put that all the way up like that. And then this here is just going to be some steps like that so they can climb up over if they need to. I shouldn't need to, but we're going to do it anyway. And then I'm going to go there and deconstruct. I'm actually going to deconstruct the pipe up to there. Now, is that... I don't know if it's got glass in it or not. It's quite possibly it does have glass in it. That's been built. And then I, I've got some other builds as well that I want them to come over and do. They'll get there with them. See, I'm delivering granite over here so that they're going to start like digging stuff out in here. Digging out the other stuff, but we've, we've got the priorities that they've got to wait for. So that there are other things that they still need to do, including all of this pipe work down here that I'm changing over to insulated, which is... All of it, it takes time, doesn't it? 
Everything they're doing is taking time, and I'm, this is why I'm wondering about whether I should be increasing the number of dupes that I've got in a base. That, again, is another thing that takes time. So, I've got this lot set up. I want glass. But then, it doesn't really matter if they get the glass going over here. They've also got all of the rest of the things that they need to do to keep the base running. And that also includes keeping all of that going as well. Now, that's just turned off because I've got no oxygen on the suit here. And Oh, I've got a suit on the rack. And you in here, you erupt in 7.6 cycles. You up there, you're dormant. You... Next activity in five cycles. That one should run. That's going to get me more power. More oxygen will come through. They've gone up there and they've gotten that. We've got a Paku right there who's elderly anyway. He's going to end up dying as a fungal spore there. Uh, let me just... You know, I'm, I'm not even... I'm not going to bother just, like, attacking. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm going to leave it. Seven and a half cycles. I'm not going to start water running in there yet. I will get some water running. We will go and turn that pump on eventually, but we won't do that yet. We'll leave that. It's this bit over here. I want to prioritize this so that I can get that come out of there and pipe up into here. That's what I think we need to do. So I'm going to change the priority level. And I'm going to priority nine. That lot there. Except for you, you're going to go back to a regular priority 5. So if I priority 9 that, then they can start putting glass into something in here. And I don't know how long it will take, but what I'm hoping is that the glass will cool down in here. And then it'll just be like that. And then that manufactured material will go away into the storage bin that I'm building right here. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen. I don't know if that actually will happen. I could end up, like, burning the whole base down. <laughs> Nothing would surprise me at this point. Nothing whatsoever would surprise me at this point. I could easily end up burning everything down. I'm, I'm hoping that I don't. I'm really hoping that I don't and that I am actually able to build this properly and, and do it nicely. But there's, there's no guarantee that's going to happen at all, is there? There's absolutely no guarantee, but they're, they're coming through here very nicely and very quickly and building that. So then we'll go into plumbing and we'll take insulated pipe and I will priority nine this piece of pipe. And that one is going to go out to there and it's going to go up here like this. And there it's going to go and then I'm going to go with a liquid vent in here that's also going to priority 9 and I'm going to take the insulated pipe and I'm going to drop that onto there. Now I don't know if that being inside the area where the liquid glass is going to be dropping is a good move or if I want to put it in behind, actually I'm thinking I should put it in behind there. But we'll leave it go for a minute like they can reach every single part of this pipe so I know that it will actually work. I just need them to finish doing that. And... Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.